Jazzy McBee's got that tea. Streets 94.5, number one station in the streets. Jazzy McBee, you already know I got that tea. So I had to call on my girl, Tammy Rivera, Waka's um, wife. She's on Love & Hip Hop ATL. There's a lot of rumors going around that Waka's supposed to be intimate or messing around with Chief Keef's baby mamas, baby mama number one and baby mama number two. They are turning up all on social media. So I had to call my girl, Tammy, and get her side of the story and see what's really going on. It's entertainment, it is. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's real entertainment that it's, it's going around on all the blog sites. So tell me what's going on with this. Well, it's sad because it's like you can't even take pictures no more with people because everybody has a motive. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So he was in an airport and this girl, you know, she's like, oh, why can I take a picture? So he took a picture with her. And then, you know, that was that. But then she went in his DMs and was like, let's make a movie. Can you go and like my picture? Can mm-hmm. you uh, follow me back? Um, here's my number. Can you call me? I'm the girl that took a picture with you in the airport. Mm-hmm. And he, you know, pretty much just like ignored the whole situation, shut it down. And then once she posted a picture, like a few days ago, she posted a picture and was like, you know, we're more than cuddle buddies. And the girl, yeah, I and saw she's that. like six months pregnant, like, what? After then, then you know, I posted the, just, just to give a, you know, disclaimer, like, you know, I shouldn't even give her that much attention. Yeah. And it's so funny because of me, the damn, I know, I know, you know, my man has messed up in the past, but I'm not going to put every female on him. Definitely not that one. Okay. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? I'm not going to believe everything that's her, you know? Especially when I have the proof sitting in front of me, so. And I think she got fame off of it. She went from 7,000 followers to 18,000, so. She's pregnant. Clearly, like, you you can see in her picture, and I don't want to give her name out, but she's pregnant by Chief Keith. And then um, I had to ask another rumor that's going around. Waka was messing with another Another one of Chief Keith's baby mama. (laughs) So I'm like, what is going on, like, with these chicks? And you know, with the other baby mama, it's so crazy because he was in Arizona, and this girl, like, while he was performing, she's all up in his face and this and the third. And I got text message from her too from on his brother's phone you know qualm yeah. Yeah. <laughs> where she was smashing his brother so i just haven't exposed her yet because she just went through a miscarriage so i'm trying to be you know sympathetic to these hoes needs is waka saying anything about this situation is he trying to come out and, and say like hey he's you know like, this is not what happened or he just feel like why give them attention like why even like give them fame because like one girl went from 7,000 to 18,000 and she posts another picture and then the other one is just like you know she really don't want no parts in it because she knows she could be exposed I mean he posted on one of the blog sites like y'all gotta stop playing with me but he's like, I mean, why even entertain it? Because next thing you know, if I say something, then everybody's going to go search their pages yes. and these going to get fame from it. And I understand it. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, you're right. So I just started ignoring their ass, too. Jazzy McBee still got my girl Tammy Rivera loving hip hop ATO and a Waka Flocka's wife on the phone with me dispelling all those rumors that's going on on the block size right now that Waka had been messing around or is messing around with Chief Keith's baby mamas. But she's saying, no, they're not messing around that they're just kind of like some overzealous fans. It's not even a fan. That's why people, I hate people get confused. Like, a fan don't do things like that. Yeah. That's what you call groupies. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But it's so hard to distinguish fans from groupies. Like, I don't know why. these. To me, it just, I've been, I've been, they've been at us since day one. Like, yeah. I've all, I keep constantly getting here. Like, I haven't seen pictures that my husband took and that I took in my bed, posted on someone else's page saying he's laying here with me, mm-hmm. but it's my bed. So I'm used to it. But it's just crazy because, like, he's a married man. Like, you girls got to have some type of respect or self-morals or something. Like, come on. Exactly. I know me and you always had these conversations. Yeah. You know, being married to, you know, a, a rap artist and, you know, you being the beautiful woman that you are, you always try to keep it classy. But you can, you can get a hood at the same time. But how do you handle these situations? I know you, you're kind of over it. You know how to handle it. But... Does it sometimes get mind-boggling and depressing that all these chicks just trying to come and tear up your marriage? You know what? Honest, to be completely honest, like, everybody knows he, just, he ain't perfect. Mm-hmm. Like, we, I've been with him for going on seven years now, so mm-hmm. I done been through everything. Like, I'm going to say right now, I'm not going to fret. Like, my marriage is perfect in that I've never been through nothing. Yes, mm-hmm. I've been through any and everything. I've been through hell and back with this man. So with that being said, it's hard sometimes to, like, when people constantly come at you to not believe half of the things. But when you have a person who's like a pregnant roach and the other girl who look like a drag queen, and you know, like, there's certain things you got to kind of be like, okay, now I know. And then when I, you know, if he comes to me like, baby, look, here's DMs right here, here's this. And then third, sometimes you have to just let go and let God, like, you know what, Lord? I can't, you can't, no one can control what's going on when their husband or their mate 
or their lover or life partner is not in their presence. But the only thing you can go on is your faith in God and what you have with that person. And I'll be damned if I leave my husband or divorce him. It ain't going to be because of no groupie or nobody on the outside. It's going to be because I'm unhappy and that's what I want to do. You get what I'm saying? Absolutely, girl. <laughs> Jesse's so silly. That, baby. Yes, I love it, Sammy. Well, you already know I'm so glad you, um, you know, called into the show to kind of despair all the rumors. I know you're going to be on, on Love and Hip Hop ATL. You're back. Oh, yeah. <laughs> are I'm you, back. Are you turning up or what? Jazzy, Jazzy, <laughs> Jazzy. <laughs> I know you can't give a lot, but... You know this show. I mean, you know I always try to display myself in a light that I would want my daughter to respect and understand and not feel the sh- ashamed of. Yeah. But sometimes you got to go there. And I think this, I'm going to apologize in advance to people who, (laughs) you know, who look at me in a light that, like, you know, Tammy's bigger than that. But sometimes, you know, I'm still a work in progress and the Lord is still working with me. So I apologize in advance for anything on this season that y'all might see. They'll be like, oh, my God, that's not Tammy. Oh, man. (laughs) Well, you're beautiful, but, honey, you already know pretty girls keep a hood, too. (laughs) Right. Absolutely. So, Tammy... Thank you so much for calling in the show, baby. I know we'll we'll get up later. I know you're busy grinding and stuff, but yes, we got to so have lunch. Yeah, we need soon. a dinner date. Absolutely. <laughs> That's the best. Tell Miss Deb happy birthday, too, okay? All right, boo. All right. Thank you, babe. Right. Bye. Jazzy McBee's got that tea.